This is a tutorial on how to install Dark Soul Mouse Fix mod plus a mod overview. This is a great mod if you want to play Dark Soul with mouse and keyboard or a Steam controller. This is not the same as DSM Fix, which was released a few years ago. This is a true raw mouse input implementation. So it's got no additional smoothing or acceleration. And it's got a lot of uh, options to set the horizontal or vertical sensitivity or uh, the sensitivity of the camera or of the bow aiming view. It allows you to bound any key to any action, which is something you cannot do with Dark Soul by default. You can also bind multiple keys per action or bind key combinations. And as you can see, there is no restriction. You can bind any keys you want. You can use the mouse cursor in all the menus and you can use your mouse wheel to scroll through your inventory or your items. The mod also gives you more option for target switching with mouse or keys and it has a GUI for easy configuration. The first thing you want to do is to download the mod. You can do this from Nexus Mods. I put a link in the description. Or you can download it from uh, Methan Hydrate, who is the person who made uh, this mod uh, from his uh, PC Gaming Wiki page. And as you can see, he's got mods for many games. He's got ver actually very interesting mods like ID5 Tweaker, which is a mod that allows you to play uh, Rage Wolfenstein at 120 frames per second, which you cannot do normally with those games as, as they are normally locked to 60 frames per second. But he made a mod that unlocks that and allows you to make the FOV wider, uh, which and also uh, helps with performance and texture streaming and stuff like that. So yeah, you should definitely get it. Also, he made mouse fix mods, which means that they had true raw mouse input with no acceleration and stuff like that to Mass Effect and Dead Space on uh, PC for this uh, Steam and Origin version. And really, if you're playing Dead Space, you should really use it. And if, if you play with the mouse, obviously, as this will make your experience much, much, much better. Personally, I used to hate Dead Space on PC because I was play, playing with a the mouse. Then I installed this, this mod and I love the game because the game is great, but because the mod is also great. And it's got also a mod that fixed the frame rate issues for games, uh, for the Fear series games. So really, you should check that out and I put a link in the description. Next, go to your download folder. Then open the zip file you downloaded with 7-zip or WinRAR. Go to uh, where your data folder is, which should be in Steam Apps Common Dark Soul Prepare to Die Edition data. Select all the files in the archive, click and press and put them into the data folder. And this is what you should have on your screen. The next thing you want to do is to read the Dark Soul Mouse Fix README file. It will explain to you uh, where to download DS Fix mod, which is the mod that allows you to play at 60 frames per second. And you need that mod to be able to use Dark Soul Mouse Fix. The README file will also explain to you what you have to modify in the DSFix mod. Remember, this is the mod that allows you to play at 60 frames per second. Uh, the README file will explain to you what you have to modify. And this is just one line. And this is this line right here. This is actually explained in details in this README file, so please read it. Now, Double click the file called Darksoul Mouse Fix GUI.exe right here. So, this is the configuration window. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you've got your mouse settings, and you have uh, independent settings for the bow view or the camera view. Uh, the UI cursor uh, section, I would advise you not to touch anything as it is, in my opinion, very well uh, set as it is. 
but you can look at the tooltips once again just by uh, hovering by hovering over every single element and it will give you uh, a tooltip. Uh, the combat section, uh, well, this is pretty straightforward again. Uh, you've got advanced settings here like kick and leap attack. You are free to bind or not bind these actions are, as they are not uh, default in the game. Uh, this was added uh, because you can actually des uh, bind this with softwares like Auto Hotkey. So you have this option here if you want. Now, the binding system is really good. You double click a key and press the key you want to assign. It's that simple. And if you want to unbind a key, you just double click right mouse button like so. Uh, the binding system is pretty advanced. Like you can bind a single key to an action, but you can bind uh, modify a key plus another key, like so, like uh, Control and E, for instance. But you can go crazy. You can just uh, bind uh, E and R, and this will work. You can really go crazy. Uh, you can really bind the game exactly how you want, and this is pretty amazing. Uh, the targeting section, uh, this is pretty straightforward. Um, you've got the manual targeting mode. You can choose exactly how you uh, change targets while you are in lock-on mode. And you've got several options for that. You can uh, have a key uh, that will let you move the mouse to change target. Well, this is really advanced. I'll just let you uh, read the tooltips. They are really uh, well written. Uh, the movement section, very straightforward. Uh, right here, you've got your dash roll back step jump key, but you can now you have options to dash only, roll only, and auto run. Uh, the equipment section, uh, the miscellaneous section with the interaction, uh, the menu, the gesture menu. And now the fixed control, this is pretty important. Uh, especially right here, you have to select your input mode. If you're using a mouse and keyboard, obviously, you select mouse and keyboard. Uh, if you're using gamepad, select gamepad. Or if you're using a Steam controller, select Steam controller. Then, uh, these uh, toggle input mode, I would advise not to touch it, but if you know what you're doing, well, then do what you need to do. And finally, you've got this reload config key right here. Uh, this is very important. Uh, bind it to something that you will remember, because uh, let's say you have made some settings, and then you launch the game, and then you realize that your mouse sensitivity is too high. Well, then you can Alt-Tab from the game, come back here, change your mouse sensitivity, save, go back in the game, and when you're back in the game, you press the Reload Config key, and this will actually um, make your changes apparent in the game. By the way, as you can see at the bottom right of the GUI, you can see a feedback or support link. I would strongly advise you to click it to give feedback or support the mod. Uh, you can actually donate to this mod maker, uh, which in my opinion, he really deserves. Or you can just click uh, to see if there are, there are any uh, new updates to this mod or other mods he makes. Or you can just click uh, to say thank you. So once you've made all your changes and that you have defined your input mode and your reload config key, press the save button. And now you are ready to launch the game. To do so, just simply launch the game through Steam. And while the game is loading, if everything is working correctly, you will hear this. Mouse fix loaded then simply load one of your characters or start a new game. 
experiment with your mouse sensitivity and your key settings. And if you want to change something while the game is running, simply Alt-Tab from the game. Make the changes you need. Let's say you want to change your mouse sensitivity. Then press the Save key. Press Alt-Tab to go back to the game. Press your Reload Config key and you will hear this. Mouse fix reloaded. And you can do this as much as you need. Once you are happy with your settings, simply close the GUI window. And from now on, when you want to play Dark Soul, simply launch the game through Steam and the mod will load itself automatically. So hopefully this will be helpful. Don't forget you can donate to the author of this mod or at least say thank you or give him some feedback. There is a link in the description or in the GUI. And in the meantime, praise the mod makers.